Because I'm a crab and farmer, keep black media so. I had the paddy book could be a better with Jayen and I had to home and send Yen and I am who they acquire any social and any media so. I had KSM and the barber to just on what in a new who be a state capture, a cost word, a Japadia book. Why was there been so I day? Eh, no, what should I say? I know they are sub you, sub you, sub you, or Cassa in him say Jack, um, penny for him is only the way Jimmy and answer or Cassa by heart. Nan to judiciary, no, I was every and will say. So I'm finding I and I'm penny for a form when I ain't see form. Now said Japadia book. And I said, and people for an NDC for a win, yes, and people for the baby in here, Japadia Bukui, a bookie, a bequa could be or check or check for and semitra, a chim for an end, a monsem, and a bequa could never say, Gana, Japadia, and a bequa could be a chim mafias, and sem. I was here for a yente and summer or the two done to be and farmer. Apparently, what it is 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 all about state capture. And I, and I hope to God not, because it will never happen that Ghanaians will sit down and allow anybody to capture the state. Even if they have started in Kudubebia, trust me. Because if that happens, folks, if in fact January 7th after the election and poor vice in power is in power, and the country is under state capture. Trust me. Trust me. And mark this on the wall anywhere you want it. Quote this date that KSM said that if by January 7th a new government has come in and we are under state capture, either the government or the opposition. But the bottom line is that we have come in and we are under state capture. Trust me, within six months, within six months, within all, could be shorter. But it won't be more than six months of the new government coming to power. We are going to experience an explosion of violence, eruption in this country that we have never witnessed before. Mon cousin Jimmy. Mais ça ça bahad na kaze mo du du ni. Whatever, whatever you want to say say it. But after you finish saying it mark this date that you're watching this program on the wall. And trust me that if by January 7th we have gone through with our elections and everything and the state is under state capture either by the government in power or not in power in the position but still has a state I am telling you we are going to experience an eruption the likes of which we have never experienced before in this country I kid you not and then you go with it. I have just about a few minutes to finish what I'm saying here. You can be the one. But the anger that is seeping in Ghana now is not like the junior ranks or anything. Or it's the average man on the street, frustrated and looking for a way out. And I'm telling you, folks, this is not good. This is the kind of eruption that desperation, anger, frustration causes. So when I'm sitting here saying this to all of us Ghanaians, that whatever we do, you and I should make sure that we do not sit down and get anything in motion called state capture. I'm telling you this because I know that when there is in fact a state capture, Within six months of the new administration, the eruption, it will make June 4th look like oh, June 4th Friday, send a watch a party. <laughs> eh? It will make June 4th look like a watch a party. I kid you not. So I say today, Reverend Lawrence said that we borrow words, this nonsense of state capture must stop. So I say it one more time, this nonsense must stop. So let me see it again and folks, pardon me, let me take my glasses off for this one. 
Let me say it again. Me film when him eyeball to eyeball focus. This nonsense must stop. Me negro, you know, it's it's like you have a you have a choice. Okay, you're going into an election and there is a choice. There's a path that you can take to prosperity and rebuilding our country and lifting this country up. And there's a path that we can take and we know that this is going to lead to anarchy and chaos. And then we sit down quietly and say, so, and yes, we, let us try the anarchy and chaos. That's how it feels like to me. Let us not joke with this, please. Sometimes here, actually, what kind of people are Ghanaians? Can you imagine any other African country or any other third world country where there's <laughs> that the government wants to take over the, the, the capture the state so that they can use the state apparatus to, to rule? <laughs> people are saying this and everybody's going about nicely, getting money, I could talk, watch Eddie, I could talk, go, but everything is cool. Can you imagine all in Ghana? But I'm telling you, even in Ghana, don't take it lightly. I remember one time I did the show, I'm saying, Home here. We don't seem to be worried, or it's not visibly coming at us worried. It's a cool here. Somebody called me and he said something I will never, ever forget. Let me share with you what the person told me. See, KSM. All these things that we're hearing about in a state capture, all these scary things that it seems that Ghanaians are taking a coup and you people think say Ubi are you cool, no? No. He says, do you know what the silence means? He said, no, tell me. Or say Ghanaians are telling us to listen to what we are not saying. <laughs> and me, I'm America focus. God damn it, that's deep. Ghanaians are telling us. You say we are quiet. No. Listen to what we are not saying. Are you deep? Think about it. Folks, don't take the state capture of, of the media as a joke, man. When the media is in the grips of a dictator, whenever the media is in the grips of a dictator, and to top that up so is the judiciary when the media and the judiciary collapse because they have been captured by the state and they are under the grips of a dictator what happens is called anarchy i kid you not though, because our last resort as a people is the law our last report as the people is to have a media that is out there defending us. We've been called to our media in the saying, saying, yeah, for the people, the media is out there for us. If the media is not there, the judiciary is there to back us. When the media and the judiciary are collapsed under state capture, what happens is people that actually let us take the law into our own hands. What follows is chaos and anarchy. This is not good, folks. This nonsense must stop. My next edition, my next episode, that is free advice going to all I for. Mimi Ochini, I have some free advice. And the title of that show is What Do We Do with JB Tankwa? You come, Mr. Zo. <laughs> and trust me, you don't even have to be an Achim person to want to listen to this show that I'm going to be doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Chim for J, whatever, whatever. I'm saying that the title of my lecture is What Do We Do with JB Dankwa? I have some an amazing free advice. But before then, let me tell you, please, Abego, this nonsense must stop. So the president says this whole Japadier talk, black, 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 nah, this thing is being designed by some NDC people very surprising but let's move on i want you to understand what i mean by this whole thing is an amorphous brainless thing that is happening 
One thing, even my own sheet, Mimi Ochini, me Ochini, Ochin Kwaminum Brim, I'm Motia, I'm Motia for a penny, a Yemi, and Motia is my chief. He is on the cover of this Ejapadie thing. I'm saying thing right now because as we speak now, dear, nobody knows what it is. You can't even identify where it came from. It is this phantom thing that is blowing all over. Our chief is on the cover of a Japadier. And he says he has no idea about it. He says he heard about this thing long ago. It is a fabrication. It is false. To much you, from two very, very powerful sources, the president said there's some NDC couples that are misbehaving, doing those silly things. Or Cheney says he has no idea about it, but in fact, some of these documents started floating even some time ago, some years back, and things. This is my worry. With all respects, Nana, you have seen your honorable face on the cover of this so-called Ejapadia thing that you say is fake. You say it's fabricated. So that there's no substance to it. What baffles me, and pardon me if, if, if I'm exaggerating, but what baffles me is that I have not heard anything from you or from your office or from the palace, Charlie, the, the uh, Motia has discovered that his face has been put on this document called a Japadie. He has no clue where it came from. It is fake, it's a fabrication. Anka, I expected that though. I, Anka, I wanted to hear that kind of denouncement that your honorable face has been put on this document that you that you, you know nothing about and I've, i haven't heard that vehement disassociation from it that this is, thing is wrong and then and then we are going to get to the bottom of those corporates who are behind this thing because this has nothing to do with me i didn't hear that i'm sorry okay so there's that and even with the president's denial, I didn't hear that he's going to put the uh, FBI or BNI or whatever to make sure that they get to the bottom of this. Because this is bad. This is very, very bad. That's why I'm seeing this whole uh, Japadia has become a amorphous, um, an, an amorphous thing that you can understand at all. Okay? The third thing that baffles me is this. Let me give the president the benefit of the doubt and say, yes, this is politics. Because politics, there you can't rule out anything. No, you can't. Anything is possible in politics, especially under now that we have AI, artificial intelligence. You'll be amazed at what people can sit down and craft with artificial intelligence, put your voice on, put your face on, and do things that will completely destroy you that you have no clue about that. So I understand. So I'm willing to give the president Nana and the benefit of the benefit of the doubt. Maybe there are some corporates who are doing this trying to badmouth you. Okay, fine. That's just it. Let's accept that. But when you think about it, folks, something doesn't quite make sense as well. Let me give them the benefit of the doubt and let's say, yes, in fact, this thing is being done by some NTC people. But watch the implementation. Every step of the implementation is something that is an additional benefit to the NPP. So, Pacho, help me think about this all. You have a bunch of frustrated uh, clowns from the NDC trying to frustrate the NPP. So they set in motion a series of events which happen to be doing things that are favorable to the MPP. And just yet, 
or perhaps you know you know Ghana we have been doing everything trying to get into the Guinness Book of World Records or whatever they call it maybe we want to get into the Guinness Book of Records as the only country with the most amazing bipartisan collaboration <laughs> and I'm aware. It's an amazing bipartisan collaboration that the NDC will decide to go and do something to damage the MPP. So they take on this act and do things, but they're not damaging the MPP. They are doing things that will actually enhance the agenda of the MPP. Maybe a bipartisan collaboration, I'm not sure. The bottom line is this. There are certain things going on, and I'm looking you in the face today, folks. I'm begging you, this nonsense must stop. First of all, let me take just a quick minute to tell you why I am saying this nonsense must stop. Okay, two things. State capture means two things. It can mean that the government in power has captured all these state institutions. The government has the military, they have the judiciary, they have the legislature, they have the media, they have captured all these institutions. If there is any government in power which is able to capture these institutions, do you know what happens? On the surface, it looks like it's a democratic government. But underneath it, a government that has captured all state institutions is nothing else but a dictatorship. An autocracy of the highest order. So either way you look at it, if you say that it's a state capture being done by the government in power, what it means is that eventually they are setting up a dictatorship, an autocracy. Abaya, the judiciary is under them, the secret is under them, the media is under them. Folks, this is nothing less than autocracy of the highest order. Okay, let's say it's not the government. Say Abaya, say Bionyonwa. So let us assume that maybe, perhaps, it's the opposition. So imagine a state where those in the opposition are the ones that have access to all these state institutions. They are not in government too, but they have access to the control of all these institutions. Do you know what happens? It's called anarchy. Because in a state like that, the nation becomes ungovernable. So two things I'm here come. Let me wrap up on these two things I'm talking about. Number one, if there's any government in power that has captured all the state institutions, trust me, that government is a dictatorship. It's an autocracy. It is deadly. On the other hand, if it's not the government in power, but somehow the opposition is the one that has been able to capture all these institutions and is controlling them then trust me the government is in trouble because the nation is ungovernable so for so much in can I say either way you look at it if as people are saying now it is the MPP making an attempt at capturing the state that's what they are saying on radio, on TV, everywhere. That's what they are saying. I won't mention any names. You know them. That's what is out there. If it is true that in fact is the MPP behind the state capture, if they should win and if I said saying break the eight and become the next government, which is coming with all state institutions captured by them. Trust me, you're looking at autocracy and dictatorship of the highest order. On the other hand, as you see, <laughs> if even if the NDC, sorry, if the MPP is not able to come back to power, 
and they are in opposition. However, even in opposition, they've been able to capture all these state institutions in the sense that they are, they are, they are thumb. Then whoever's in power is looking at a situation that we call ungovernable. Summer, I call so a state capture boost a Japadio book in summer. I call so a womb and on KSM, Nedisa, and Samina. I did ever to you. I okay, black media subscribing and liking and share now for a board notification bell. And so send a better update to be a so for my young man. Yes, for us, so ain't see a womb. My crown.